Hello YouTubers, Dan here and look at what just arrived. I was browsing eBay and saw this listing for a Gateway GX 450 XL and decided to buy it. In 1998, this PC was one of the fastest computers you could buy and was Maximum PC's computer of the year. Back in those days, a computer of this caliber would easily set you back almost 4,000 bucks. Yikes! Now you can pick them up for under $100. If you're not familiar with the Gateway's lingo from this time period, the GX stands for Xeon Based Processor, the 450 means clock frequency is set to 450 MHz, and anytime you see the letters X and L at the end of the Gateway model name, that means you got the big swinging dick version of this computer, or the best of the best that Gateway makes. Motherfucker! Since I bought this computer as is for parts or repair, I didn't know what to expect. The reason I bought this beast is I had a G6 450 XL back in 1998, which is the Pentium 2 based version of this PC that we bought from a Gateway Country Store. Sadly, I sold my Tower of Power a few years later to get a car and have always regretted it. Once I saw this beast on eBay, all those good memories from 1998 started coming back, so I had to have it. So let's open this box up and see what I have. The computer looks like it's in decent shape. A couple of things I noticed is the Voodoo 2 card is missing, the CDRW, and the computer must have had a hard drive failure at some point because the original IBM GXP has been swapped out with a quantum fireball. The build quality of these older gateway cases are just phenomenal. Look at all that room. An apartment this size in New York would easily set you back $4,000 a month. Another thing that surprised me was this motherboard can also accept two Xeon based processors, which is pretty cool. I likely won't see the benefit of that since I only plan on running Windows 98 or ME, which sadly doesn't support SMP, but it was pretty cool to see. Let's get this computer hooked up and see if it will post. Uh oh, that's not good. The computer is on, but I'm not getting any video or beep codes. Let's try reseeding all the cards and see what happens. Finally, looks like reseeding all the cards helped. Unfortunately, this was as far as I got since the previous owner had set a boot password. This was easy to get around though, because there is a jumper on the motherboard to clear them. Now that the computer is booted up and appears to be working well, it's time to take it apart and give it a thorough cleaning. It's amazing how dirty these computers can get after accumulating almost 20 years of dirt and dust. In order to thoroughly clean the computer, we need to remove all the components. Once everything is removed, I use an air compressor to blast all the dust and dirt out of the case. An air compressor does a great job of cleaning and is much safer to use than a liquid based cleaner. Believe it or not, laundry detergent and warm water does a great job of making the decorative case hardware look like new again.
Wow, what a difference. It's hard to believe that this case cover is almost 20 years old. Time to put that beautiful case cover back on. Isn't it amazing how spending just a few hours of your time taking things apart and cleaning it can get you results like this? After cleaning the computer case and all the cards, it's almost back to its former glory again. Now that we have a clean computer case and hardware to work with, let's put it back together. Check this out. Of course, no gaming rig is complete unless it has a Voodoo 2 card installed. I was able to find this one for 25 bucks on eBay. These old Voodoo 2 cards were remarkable back in the day, and I couldn't imagine this setup without it. Time to insert this beast of a processor called the Pentium 2 Xeon. The main difference between the Pentium 2 Xeon and the Pentium 2 is the level 2 cache on the Xeon runs at full clock speed, whereas the Pentium 2, the cache runs at half the clock speed. Time to get the drives installed. Man, I haven't seen one of these old zip drives in probably over a decade. Man, these things are cool. Here she is, all finished and ready for a clean install of Windows 98. For now, I'm really happy with how this build turned out. After purchasing a new TNT2 and Voodoo 2 video card, I'm all in for under 100 bucks with shipping. Not bad considering the enjoyment I'll be getting out of it. In my next video, we will be putting the Xeon based rig through its paces with some benchmarking. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit the like button. So long!